My name is Chris Tamiani. I'm the Programs Associate at the Historical Society of Pennsylvania. Um, the two prints that I selected, uh, one is of Fort Mifflin. It's a pen and ink print of Fort Mifflin, the way it looked um, right before the battle in 1777. Uh, the other print is a picture of uh, the, a Fort Mifflin in 1920, which is the rebuilt Fort Mifflin from 1795. I chose these prints because uh, Fort Mifflin is really a little known fort that was a very important part of the Revolutionary War. It sits on the Delaware River, uh, much like it did when it was built in 1773. Uh, in 1773, the British began building the fort, and of course by 1775, we are at war with the British, the fort had not been completed yet but the fort was finished in 1776 and played a vital part in the defense of the Delaware River. The British Army had occupied the city of Philadelphia, uh, but the British had a problem and that was, that was that their supplies were downriver in Chester. Um, fort Mifflin, which was occupied by the Americans, also another fort across the river, Fort Mercer, also occupied by the Americans, blocked the river from those British supplies going up into Philadelphia. The British Army needed those supplies in order to stay in Philadelphia for the winter of 1777. I would invite people to come down and take a look at the Fort Mifflin material that we have at the Historical Society. Um, it's significant because although it was destroyed in during the bombardment, it kept the British supplies from getting into the city for 40 days. And by the time they did make it into the city, it was too far along in winter where the British uh, Army did not go after the Colonial Army. Uh, what that did was actually allow the Colonial Army to get the Valley Forge and encamp for the winter. So without Fort Mifflin and Fort Mercer being there to stop those supplies, there would be no Valley Forge and American history would be a lot, more, a lot different than it is today.